Hey everybody, I think I got the recording issue resolved. So what I had to do is when I was recording, I did not have this lit when I was recording. So, oh wow, that's really loud. So if I turn this down, um, if I'm gonna do the recording, what I did is I had this recording uh, light lit and then also press this recording, even though I'm using audio interface. I don't think I even had that press either. So what I did is I, I um, can hear it now and I did the recording, right? So now if I go in and I do some more recording with it, if I select this and have it recorded play and I turn this up, if I want to do another recording, so if I go over here um, and I fast forward it, so and I just want to do some more recording, it's already armed for recording. So here is you want to enable it for recording and you can hear, you can see the monitor level going through it. So, and also you have the mixer. Now, one thing I had to do was set this to inputs nine and 10, because on my mixer, the virus is on nine and 10. So they have to match in logic. That's what I saw a video on. I think this is what I was doing wrong. So I did this and then of course I set this so it doesn't record at clipping. See how it's clipping there kind of? Kind of like a 10, point, 10 to 11. So this is gain staging, I guess I have to learn. Um, you can see it did record audio. Now to play this audio back, I'm gonna do another recording just to test it out. So let's do some different stuff on a synthesizer to get a recording. We're gonna change things up a bit so we make it a little interesting. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do a shift. Uh, I'm gonna go back to one. I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna do some stuff on the synthesizer to change it up a bit. So I'm gonna do another recording. So, so now it's actually, yep, it's recording audio. See how it's recording? Now what we wanna do is tweak it a bit. I'm gonna have some fun with the presets here. So I'm gonna go back to, do an ARP on. So edit. Shift edit, uh, oops, I screwed up on that one. So yeah, I, I did screw up on this. So if I go to edit an ARP, uh, this, will, this will be good. I wanna um, go to the arpeggiator, hold on. Okay, now I can exit out of that. See, now it should be recording. It wasn't recording much before. So now it's starting to work. So you got some recording, so now I can tweak it. That was interesting. See, it is recording audio. So if I increase the levels. See, it is recording audio. Now if I stop the recording. It's not playing it back. So what I had to do is go over to my Zoom mixer, press this, USB 1, 2. Um, so if I go back to my logic, go back here, now it's working. So, yeah, that's working. So one thing I noticed about this is, that, and Zoom support told me this about the USB button, if it's lit or not. So apparently if you wanna play back, your audio that's recorded into the Zoom, you need to have this lit. When you're recording, you don't press it because you won't hear anything um, when you're monitoring. So that's the first thing I had to do. Um, now it's working. So um, I have my recording, I'm really happy because this will let me record directly. Or if I'm jamming to the SD card, which is fine, they're both fine, but this is nice to have this. So there wasn't anything recorded there because I had it kind of, now it's recording, see that? Beautiful. So I'm sure I'm not the only one on the planet that has these questions. And I can record, I can record to the SD card as well, right? So if I go here, I'm on this folder in the project. If I want to record to this, I can do that too by, by pressing the, uh, no, not, yeah. So now if I stop this, what's cool 
about to zoom is that can record to the SD card as well, right? So if I want to get out of this and I also want to record something to the SD card, I can arm this, press the record button. You can also record the mix down here, right here. I think you can do that. So I have this selected to record for this track. And if I just press the play button, it will start recording. So then I can go over to my synthesizer and screw around with it. Man, this is, gonna, this is such a good filter on the virus. It's like one of my, the envelopes and filters are to die for. I mean, I've, it's one of my all time favorite. This, I mean, these are just low passes if I change it down. It's like the side trance. So I can do that, right? So I can stop that. So if I stop my recording and I go back here, rewind it, and I press play. Is that cool or what? And then you can overdub it. But I wonder if you press this button, see the sign says, I wonder if it will play it back. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. So you can play it back. So you can be like recorded the SD card and your DAW at the same time, which is pretty amazing. So this took me a while to figure out. And, um, you know, the people at Zoom support Sweetwater were helpful. So I'm really happy I got this figured out. Nothing was recorded there because I wasn't playing anything. But that's kind of like the virus that recorded that. And if I go to the very beginning, back here you can see the audio was recorded. So now that's recorded, so this is really good. So I think I got this sorted out, I'm really happy. So now, and you can see like when you're playing it back, you know, if you're like, uh, get out of USB mode, that's only when I think you're monitoring. So you can see the audio levels from the virus, right? So this is what you, I'm mean, using these. There's other stuff I need to learn, but you can use these. So I said minus 10 to 12 is good for like clipping. Cause you don't want it to clip, see the green level? It's not like crap you can do. But um, yeah, I'm glad I figured this out. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. Um, you know, but that's some straight up infected mushroom spongo sound I'm getting out of it, which makes me really happy. But anyways, I hope you found this useful because the documentation is confusing. Um, I like this device. I think there's a learning curve. I think it's, I mean, I, I didn't like it when I first got it and I couldn't get any sound out of it. But now that I'm figuring out how it works, it's pretty amazing what it can do. Um, where you can record directly to the SD card. You know, you got your projects. So if you got your menu, you know, I got these different projects, so you can select them. So yeah, I have this one project and you can actually play back, you know, the what I have from it. Yeah, you can do that. So that's something I recorded a while back. You can play it back. So that's pretty cool. You can do that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can do that. So anyways, I hope you found this helpful. I, I think I have it figured out. Um, <clears throat> one thing you got to do is make sure in your Logic Pro and your settings. So Logic Pro, also have to get like some longer cables, figure out that situation, your audio. You want to make sure these show up. Now, output device, I guess you could do, yeah, you could do like, I wonder what happened if I did that. So, and if I just do apply what happens. So let's see what happens when it does that. Um, if I wanna listen to it, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, cool. So if you wanna monitor through your um, computer, you can do that. So that is working. So it's just kind of like, it's just such a good, um, like having it through the Zoom driver is so good for the output. Cause I have everything hooked up to my Zoom. So you got that, so that's pretty easy. Yeah, this took a while to get the driver working too, but I think I got it. And I got these new focal monitors I really like, I bought from Sweetwater, they're they're, uh, they're really nice sounding. So yeah, so that's what you gotta do. That's if you don't hear audio coming, 
You gotta make sure, um, yeah, there's some settings here you gotta set. You have to make sure like this one is selected and then you should be able to hear the audio coming back. Yeah, so sometimes it's kind of funky. That's This is what threw me for a loop was the audio setup. You know, you wanna make sure you can hear audio coming through monitors um, on your device. So here you can see the levels, right? So when you're recording, um, do not select this USB 1, 2. It will give you a lot of headaches if you do. Um, you want to make sure that you don't set that. So when you're recording now, you know, the reason I'm not hearing audio, even though I have signal, is because I think when you play back, there's a tricky thing with this zoom. When you play back your audio, uh, so you can see the le levels are, are good, and you wanna make sure you get the monitor. Yep, so now you can have that monitoring down here, little eye. And so this little eye, it says uh, input monitoring button. Uh, this is the record button. I think uh, Logic's gotten better. 10.7 was a real is a real big change. So like now, uh, if I have the like, so if I press USB, right, and then let's see if I play it back. Okay, so it was working. So now I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting audio. This is so annoying. Maybe I need to change something here. Um, we we'll go to Logic Pro. And I go to settings, I go to audio. Maybe because I screwed up, because I, I don't know, if I go input device, okay, output device. Let's see what happens here. Boom, let's play it back. Okay, at least I'm hearing it through my Mac. So I know it did record the audio, but what I'm trying to figure out is I had it working, my settings for audio, so, okay, maybe I gotta apply Zoom 12 driver, apply. Okay, now let's see if it plays. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, okay, so if I go menu, oh, maybe I have to press record. Okay, record channel, sorry. Record channels, maybe I have to press the record channels again. Right, and then record. All right, now maybe I have to do, all right, what's going on here? This is really strange. I don't know, maybe there's something I gotta figure out on this part that got me scratching my head. I know it recorded audio, which is cool. Now if I go here, all right, maybe I just gotta go, huh, this is really strange. I don't know what's going on here, why it didn't, it's not playing it back. I know it recorded the audio. So I'm getting closer to the solution. It's just a little, so you can see the audio recorded here. And it's showing levels, so I don't know. This is really like kind of a pain figuring this out. And it's showing levels on my mixer. Let me just undo this. Undo that. I just want to hear it back from my speakers. I know the speakers are connected, and I'm getting a signal here, as you can see, like 9 and 10. So maybe unmute, mute, USB. Because at USB, I selected that before when it wouldn't play the audio. So maybe, let's do this, file, save as. All right, well, I'm gonna do some more testing, cheers.